Welcome into the recap of the White Sox ridiculous 8-5 to loss to the Kansas City Royals Monday night at Guaranteed Rate Field. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by our great partners at Wintrust, the exclusive home of White Sox checking. Scan that QR code right there on your screen. Click on the link and you can get your very own White Sox checking account complete with that super sweet White Sox debit card. Folks, 15 consecutive losses now. 15! They've had a 14-gamer earlier in the year. Now they surpass that with a club record 15th straight loss. And this one is gut-wrenching as any of them. White Sox had a 5-2 lead after an Andrew Vaughn solo homer took a 4-2 game, made it a 5-2 game, headed to the top of the 8th inning. I went on my DraftKings app and I looked just to see what the line was on the game. If you bet $100 on Kansas City, it was plus 950. That means you would make a $950 profit if, if you bet 100 bucks and they came back and won the game just by a single run. And I thought, boy, with that White Sox bullpen and Kopech has gone, I should play that. Didn't put anything on it because I was stupid. You look at that pen and you knew this could absolutely happen. Then in the eighth, they go bang, bang, back to back, solo home runs. Now it's a 5-4 game. They end up going from Steven Wilson to John Brevia. And let me tell you how this whole inning unfolded. Okay, Wilson's in there. He gets Salvi Perez on a fly out deep to left. Hunter Renfro homer. MJ Melendez homer. Fermin pops out. You got two outs in the inning and nobody on base. Freddie, uh, Michael Garcia, single. Brevia comes in. Garcia steals second. Frazier gets hit by a pitch. He walks Michael Massey. Bobby Witt, Grand Slam. Thanks for coming. See you later. Ball game over. 15 consecutive losses. Today, the Sox made a big three-team, seven-player deal. They sent Michael Kopech, Tommy Pham, and Eric Fetty out of town. Fetty and Pham go to the Cardinals. Kopech heads to the LA Dodgers, who also got Tommy Edmond from St. Louis. Sox get three prospects. Now, I know Everyone is saying, what is Chris Getz doing? How can he not get more? Let me just tell you this. You got a new, newbie general manager who's never done this before. That's number one. Number two, Michael Kopech hasn't had a great year. He's got a lot of potential. And in terms of Tommy Pham, he has a 102 weighted runs created plus 100s league average. So he's not going to bring you a ton. He's not under contract. But Eric Fetty, you have another year of control. So when you look at all this, it seems to me they made a bad deal. They got prospects whose timeline, according to MLB Pipeline and others, does not have them in the big leagues till 2027. One of them, 2026. So not immediate help. Who knows when they'll be ready? I thought you could have done better, Chris Getz. In fact, I don't think he made a very good trade. We'll find out years down the road. The Chicago Land Chevy Dealers player of the game, Bobby Witt Jr., four hits, a grand slam to win it, and a ridiculous play in the hole from down on the ground, and he gets on his knees, and he guns out Andrew Vaughn to end the game. White Sox lose. That's 15 consecutive. They're on the road to 24, the all-time major league uh, losing streak record in the modern era. Have a great rest of your night. Boy, they suck. They're horrible. Take that.